Yo guys and welcome to North Station, it's your boy North back again with another gameplay from Tales of Zestiria. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you in the next one. Also guys, if you do really enjoy the gameplay, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and definitely I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, we'll set out tomorrow. What? I was thinking of heading out now. With just the clothes on my back? Oh, please! I am a girl, you know. Oh. And? Huh? You have been battling those... Hellions, is that right? Those monsters most people can't see. Yeah. All the time? Yeah. That man we were talking about, Heldolf, he's the Lord of Calamity, so... Whoa, hold your horses. Save the long stories for mealtime, okay? Let's go! Rose. Huh? What is it? You're sounding all serious on me. It's about my duty as a shepherd. You're supposed to defeat the Lord of Calamity written about in the Earth and Historia, right? What about it? I met the Lord of Calamity on the battlefield. You did, huh? But I was no match for him. Even your resonance was cut off. Oh, so that's when I came to the rescue. And? What do you mean, and? This journey is going to be dangerous. Honestly? I don't even know if we have a chance to win. I'll help you find a way to win. And if we can't, we can always run away. We'll be all right. You know the reality of the situation and what your capabilities are, and that's fine by me. Thanks. For what? For everything. Not sure I get what you mean, but you're welcome. There isn't a problem. If there is, we'll just run away. I can't believe I'm on a journey with real-life Seraphim. We're gonna be counting on you. Gah! Pleasantries are fine and all, but disembodied voices give me the total willies! I can't believe I'm on a journey with a real-life scaredy cat. Pleasure to work with you too, Dezel. <sighs> Man, I sure am feeling the tension. Just like a real adventure. Adventures in social psychology, maybe. Why did these trees become Hellions? It's easy for souls to dwell in something that's lived for a long time. Rolling deluge! Yeah, we well, did it! Have we reached Rollins already? Yep, this is Lassie Bell. 
It's renowned the world over as a city where artisans and traders congregate. That's the one! You know more about the world than I thought. I'm on top of my game! Is that a monolith? I make the oath, will I get power like Lila's? Don't even think about it. That oath is way more trouble than it's worth. Work on honing the strength you already have instead of relying on that mumbo-jumbo, and you'll develop special skills all your own. You mean you've got your own skills? You bet I do. Yeah? Like what? Show me. <laughs> you sure you're ready? I'm impressed. Didn't think you had it in you to act like a grown-up for once. Uh, you're getting weird. You sure you want to see it? I don't normally show it to just anyone, but for you, I just might make an exception. Never mind. Forget I asked. Heh. <laughs> it must get lonely, being Mikleo. Mikli only. Honing the strength I already have. Line up and wait. Those who don't comply shall be punished. You gotta be kidding. I don't have time for this. An inspection? It's the army. What do you think? There's gonna be a real war going on real soon. Hmm. <laughs> Odds are they'll be detaining you, I bet. Huh? Why me? You're back there. Pipe down! Sorry! You've heard the rumors about the Shepherd, right? Yeah, in Highland, I think. Right, but the latest word is he's made his way to Roland's. Huh, no kidding. Crazy. Does the Roland's Empire think unfavorably of the Shepherd? You bet they do. The Knights have seen what he can do in battle and are all up in arms, and the Church has branded him a heretic. As if that wasn't enough, there's talk of mysterious happenings going on in town. Next! Oh, looks like I'm up. On that note, watch your back out there. I thought we'd be fine, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's best that you hide who you are, but the idea of making someone like you tell a lie is like... It's like trying to convince your best hen to lay hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. Guess we better get ready to make a run for it. We have a pass and everything, just chill. I got this. Just no creepy head voices for the time being, got it? So long as you don't cause any trouble. Just keep your mouth shut. Next! I am Sergei Strelka, Captain of the Platinum Knights, defenders of the glory of the Roland's Empire. In cooperating to ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our Merchant Guild Pass. We've come to Lastendale on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The Sparrow Feathers are you? Quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Ah, yes, Boris's Canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. 
and we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No. My gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. Thanks for all your hard work. Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. Lord! Hmm? Rose. That's right! My husband here is nobility! What? You're married? Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life, yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. In the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her just over a year ago. You... you did? Even my wife didn't know the full truth. The cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. Laugh at the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah! Sorry. You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest. Your sweet words are sugar to my tired limbs. Sow the seeds of love and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. Next! I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's all right if we communicate directly inside your... No. It's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene! Come on. Let it go, Lila. All right, then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Well, uh... But, Miklio, this town looks all kinds of exciting. Well, it does, so... We really ought to poke around at least a little. Did I nail it? Guilty as charged. Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean Seraphim and humans? What's that? Get out of town! What do you mean they're selling elixir? 
It's true. Word around town is that the nobles in Highland and Rollins can't get enough of the stuff. But how are they getting access to it? I thought the church controlled the entire supply. Well, they say they've got the church's blessing, no pun intended. And apparently the damn stuff actually works. Longer life, fresher breath, everything. Well, don't that beat all? What beats all is the price of that junk. You gotta be one rich chump, let me tell you. <sighs> yeah, I should have guessed as much. The church is selling elixir now? Something sounds off about that. But goodness, we usually reserve such sensitive matters for later hours. My apologies, Your Grace. I merely wish to offer my gratitude for the services. It is appreciated. But you must understand, Cardinal Fortin and the other High Clergy have very strict requirements for us. I am aware, Your Grace. Be assured that my organization will be most generous in our contributions. It looks like that is the town sanctuary. Shall we? Fiona, those Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lucan Yerlin? Hmm. You okay? Are you not feeling well? Fethmus Mioma, Blues Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lukeheim Yerland. Fethmus Mioma, Blues Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lukeheim Yerland! Whoa! What are you doing? You tell me! When I formed the pact with Lila, she told me I had to remember those in like three seconds. And now I can't get them out of my head! <laughs> it was an emergency! I couldn't help it. Lila can be pretty forceful sometimes. I wish she were a ghost. She'd be less scary. Is this Belfry all machine run? Yep, it's what Luston Bell is famous for. The gears get moving, the bells get swinging, and it sounds like the most entrancing music. Now that's something I'd like to hear. Wow, you'll only get something like this in the City of Artisans. Such craftsmanship. Oh, an art appreciator now, are you? I wonder how the motor works. Don't ask me. I hear the sound of the drawworks. They're probably utilizing the power of the aqueduct running underground. 
Aqueduct? Really? Nothing I can see suggests that. That's because it's a hidden refuge area. This place was built as a fort in the first place. Oh, so that's why this place is surrounded by castle walls. Before it was a fancy belfry, this was a communication tower for sending smoke signals. So much history everywhere. This is too cool. Guys seriously geek out over the weirdest things. <laughs> well, let them have their fun. Yeah, I suppose. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. There you go. Wilkis Wilk. Hey, Saray, what does my true name mean? Oh, it means Rose is Rose. Rose is Rose? Isn't that kind of lazy? Is it? I mean, I made it on a whim, but I thought it seemed fitting. It was an urgent situation, after all. Hmm. But Princess Alicia used to be a squire, right? What was her true name? Melphis Amekia. It means Alicia the Smiling. I see. So it's not lazy. You're just being biased. Huh? How? My smile is pretty gorgeous too, you know. Quit it, Rose. You're scaring me. Rose, that's just how Saray is. Yeah, I know. Maybe his name should mean Saray is Saray. <laughs> Got a request. Church of Rollins. Roger. This must be the sanctuary. Not a very old building, but still remarkable architecture. Hello? Is there anybody home? If they are, they better have a voice and a body. No one's here. Ghost? I mean, no guardian, Seraph. No surprise, given that priest we saw earlier. They're all like that. Everywhere you go these days. Well, what should we do? Look for a Seraph who can bless it? Huh. I wouldn't know where to start. You know, it isn't necessary to get completely hung up on restoring the blessing. You sure? It should be fine. There isn't all that much malevolence around here. And besides, it's not like you can go and save the world all by yourself. Absolutely. The most important thing right now is that you broaden your perceptions and hone your powers. So that we can stand up to the Lord of Calamity, right? He'll have a hell of a time with that if you can't even tell when you're being followed. Who are you talking to? The stained glass? Didn't you have urgent business at the restaurant on the main street? What was the name again? Y yes right Boris's canteen. There's no restaurant by that name. He's alone. Let's take him down and get out of here. <laughs> Can he see us? Nope. He's just that good. 
Have fun with your human friend, Saray. Huh? Seriously? This is a human problem after all. Come. I shall apologize for deceiving you. And then... You're going to tell me who you really are! Tiger Blade! Dragon Fang! Shadow Shot! Yeah! Blade Fang! Yeah! Tornado Crush! Sonic Crush! Yeah! What was that? An art handed down with pride in my country. Darn it! <laughs> you held back. You'll regret it later. I'll be fine. I appreciate you looking out for me. Even your comeback is weak. Are you speaking with Seraphim? So during the inspection, you really were. I must apologize for lying to you, Sergei. It is I who owe you an apology, gentle shepherd. Huh? Only in the clashing of blades may one gauge a man's strength. Might I ask your name? Saray. Shepherd Saray, I beseech you to lend me your power for the sake of Rolands. But we've heard that the Rolands Empire is on edge because of the shepherd. It's true. The knights treat him as a dangerous wild card with a level of power comparable to Cardinal Fortin. And the Church views the Shepherd as a threat to the Cardinal, therefore a heretic. The Cardinal is the number two figure in the Church, first in line to succeed the Pope. On paper, she's an aide to the young Emperor, but in reality, she holds the reins. Verily, and she is said to be capable of causing the same miracles that the Shepherd can. The same as the Shepherd? What is the meaning of this? Since when have the Knights been so brazen as to let themselves into the Sanctuary unannounced? Don't tell me you have come here intending to stain the years of our faithful with foul lies about Cardinal Fortin. Father, I would never... Come to the park. We'll finish our discussion there. This aroma. Sorry about earlier. Things weren't quite as bad between the knights and the church when the Pope was still around. The Pope? Pope Macedra was a kind-hearted philanthropist, whom the former Emperor greatly trusted. Even the Knights would have gladly carried out any order he might give. Wait, what do you mean was? He went missing, about a year ago. As if prepared for the confusion, Cardinal Fortin took the stage, and soon she had seized all political power. So, you think the Cardinal had something to do with the Pope's disappearance? Is there proof? None. I had the combined powers of the entire Knight Squad on the case but no clues turned up. But any knight who snooped around the Cardinal went missing. Eighteen of them in all. Saddle. I don't want to admit it, but in order to stand against the Cardinal, we need power that exceeds natural capabilities. Shepherd Saray, I know it is wrong of me to ask, but can you help seek out the true nature of the Cardinal? The Cardinal resides at the church in Pendrago, right? I thought commoners weren't allowed inside. It's true. I'll try to pull some strings on my end to get you permission to enter. All right. We'll meet with the Cardinal. Oh, Frab, just day! I shall make the preparations immediately. Milady, please forgive me for dragging your husband into all of this. Huh? Let us reconvene at Pendrago. Once you've arrived, come to the Knight's Tower. He seriously thinks you two are married? What, what a, a weirdo. But he's so pure. A pure idiot.
I can tell this is gonna be trouble. But at least it's getting us inside the Shrine Church. Right. While we're at it, we can probably tell the higher-ups in Rollins our side of the story. Though something tells me those higher-ups are going to be the real problem. It seems like the Guardian Seraph became a Hellion. But why would it just up and leave like that? Case, huh? It's very disturbing, even in Rollins. So, how's it looking for the new hideout? We're still looking into it. Mallory, the Patinal Forest, seems like it'd be an ideal place, though. Perfect timing! We wanted to ask you about something, boss. I figured you'd need me to come along. It's not about the hideout, it's about our job as the Sparrow Feathers. We can't decide on which product to purchase. Mavo buns or curry buns? Which do you like? Mavo curry buns! Isn't that just your personal preference? Nope. It's a rational decision I'm making as the boss of the Sparrow Feathers. This is just what the world needs. The sheer deliciousness that only this combination can bring! Sounds kind of subjective to me. <laughs> Fine. We'll go with that. You guys do all kinds of stuff. That about sums up what we do. And we don't do jobs just for money. I see. That's why we make our actual living as merchants. <laughs> well, mostly a guild does. I'm the one who gives the okay on bringing out new products. All right. We'll be going back now. Boss, try and drop by the Forest of Mallory if you can. Everyone's already gone there. Will do. Take care, y'all. I don't think any dogs have barked at me for a while now. There's the reason why. Is that Dezel? Looks like the dogs are flocking to him. What? You want something? No, I'm just a little surprised. You're okay with dogs? Of course I am. Dogs are silent partners. You haven't given them enough of a chance to know better. But dogs do bark. They only bark because they can sense your anxiety and aren't sure where it's coming from. In other words, it's because you're afraid of them in the first place. Well, I'd argue that they bark at me first. <sighs> it's so hot again. It truly is. I think I'm gonna get sunburned. Edna, do you use your umbrella for protection from the sun? As you can see. Do Seraphim get sunburned too? I guess it makes sense since Edna has really fair skin. Edna's umbrella can be used to avoid the sunlight as well as rain. It can even be used to push back the Hellions. Oh, wow! So it's like killing three birds with one stone! Not quite. It's also her signature item, so it's more like killing four birds with one stone. If that's true, then really it's like killing five birds with one stone, since she has a cute mascot character attached to it. And, and, it's also something she can change depending on her mood, so that's actually six- I'm like Cinderella with an umbrella. I must say, that was a good one. Not to mention a lot of dead birds with one stone. Nicleo, look! It's just like what was in the Celestial Records! It's the Leaning Tower. I didn't know that it would be this big. Peacocks threaten their foes, they recover health. Jeez, what a pain. You gotta give them physical ailments. Figure out why. Yeah. Splendid job, Saray.
the boar, this alien does a headlong rush attack. At you, Brutor? That's the way! Bring some of multiple Looks like we win! Okay! Yeah, I got a So big! Do you think we can defeat them? You can't beat them if you half-ass it. If you're scared, just run away. They are indeed strong, but we can win if we try. It'd be better to dodge their attacks than defend. Think you can do it? Well, this doesn't look good. We're in a foul place. This feeling. We've been in places like this before. It's a crucible of malevolence. They make Hellions fight to make them nastier. Venomization. A diabolical practice. It appears this ruin was built to do just that. Who would make such a thing? I don't know. But there are several places such as this on the Glenwood continent. I had thought they had all been sealed up, but... Looks like they're back in business. This has to be held off. No question about it. We'll stop this! Something's blocking our way. It must be to keep outsiders from entering. It's most likely that only certain people are allowed inside. So, it's me alone, huh? A solo fight. If it were me... I could ask for nothing better. Hmm. There must be herbs around here. Wait, that's... Hold back! Stop it! 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 Stop it!
and dry inside Saray. That is whole new level. Levels of creepy. Damn it! Why can't I be a dumb dry ghost too? Ray, look around you.
Saray, look carefully at the ground. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. As you know, four Hellions charge straight at you. Watch out for its body slam! It'll bore right through you! Splendid! I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue.
Lastenbell didn't have a lord of the land either. We did see a couple of Seraphim, but it didn't look like they were living together. I can't see them, but they've been here the whole time. To think that it's always been like that is just... so friggin' scary! <sighs> but in the past, Seraphim were revered. And in return, Seraphim gave the people their blessing. That's how it was in the era of coexistence? Yep. But the humans came to only believe in things that they could see. That can't be helped. There's barely anyone who could see Seraphim like Saray and Rose. It's scary that there are people around you that you can't see, but... At the same time, it's sad. It's sad that they can't be noticed even though they're there. I wish everyone thought the same way you did, Rose. <sighs> Do you want something? Hey, you. My name is Rose. I know. Then call me by my name. Hey, Rose. That's better. What do you want? Quit doing stuff like that. Stuff like what? Riding on the shepherd's back like that. Huh? Did you see that? By chance. Gah, that's why Seraphim freak me out sometimes. It's careless to entrust your body to someone like that. But that was part of the plan! To catch them off guard and then mow them down! That's not something an adolescent girl should do. Mowing people down? Riding around on someone's back. There's something wrong with a girl being carried on someone's back? It's careless of you! I told you it was part of the plan! I give up. I don't get it. There might be something nearby. Is everyone back? May your knowledge be It's an orc farmer. This Hellion used to be. I can guess, and I'd rather not know, anyways. Thanks. Not yet! It's time! Tiger Blade! Try this on! Yeah! Sweet dreams! Saray, is your. This aroma. Even out of the rain, it's still so cold. I'll say. Ugh, damn. Ugh, they've gone from scary to annoying. Still, to think Seraphim sneeze just like we do. Thank you. 
I found this. This place is huge! Yes, Pendrago is the largest city on the Glenwood continent. Hmm, where can we find an inn? I recommend the one directly in front of the plot. One of the Cardinal's subordinates. I tried to apprehend him, but oh, you saw what he was like. His movements were incredible. You could tell, right? It was a Hellion. The Cardinal's underling is a Hellion? Then... Forgive me, sir. He's escaped into the Shrine Church. It looks like it's true. I believe he was likely a messenger of- I'm cold. You can blather on inside. Achoo! Tell us the details after we find shelter from the rain, if you please. Our friends are feeling a bit chilly, and even a seraph can catch a cold. Friends? Not that you could tell, since you can't see him. Forgive me. I should have been mindful of the Seraphim's presence. Let us head for the Knight's Tower. Your wife sure is considerate. Yep. He still thinks they're married. <sighs> There must be herbs around here. Seems there's a treasure chest near us.
Saray, look carefully at the ground. Wait, that's... I think we've checked that monolith out yet. This should be a better place to talk. Did everything go okay? Can we get in the church? I secured the permissions, but after that last incident, I'm afraid we're likely under high scrutiny. So what else is new? They weren't big fans of us in the first place. Yeah, good point. We've got nothing to hide. Let's do it. Look at that. Ever since Rose joined up with us, I feel like Saray has become so much more proactive. Too bad it means that much more trouble for us. Thank you. It was my decision to begin with. And besides, I've really wanted to see the shrine inside the church. There's something about you that reminds me of the Pope. He too would never hesitate to spare expenses for the sake of his people. Oh boy, another masochist. I see. I've prepared lodgings for you. I pray that the Seraphim will also be able to rest well tonight. But Captain, it's been three days since last we heard from Boris after his infiltration. I believe we should hurry. Who's Boris? The rain may be affecting our food supplies, but I shall prepare our famous Drago stew for you. Aren't you the least bit concerned? He's your only brother. I do not wish to burden you with my troubles any more than I already have. Please rest for now. It's a kind offer. Let's take it. We will. Thank you. Sergei sure seems like a good guy. He is, though I fear he may be a bit too genuine and sincere to command the knights. I agree. I hope he has what it takes. We've got plenty of worries of our own. Let's not get hung up on other people's issues. Sure can eat. So can these two. It was surprisingly good. 
I couldn't help myself. Drago Stew, 85 points. My policy is eat while you can. It's been ingrained in me since I was a kid. That's the law of a soldier. Hmm. A soldier, huh? Soldier? Aren't you and your buddies in an assassin's guild? Well, you know, it wasn't always like this. We used to be just a band of mercenaries. Not to brag, but they called us the best on the continent. Is that right? <sighs> That's it for me. We've got a job to do tomorrow. Is Rose's band of mercenaries the one you mentioned before? The Wind Riders, I believe. I think I've heard of them. The tale said just a hundred of them could scatter a force of 20,000 men and capture three castles in one night. Yeah, they were a legendary band of mercenaries. It's no wonder Rollins itself was their primary employer. They sound crazy strong. Strong and loyal. To the point that even the Emperor of Rollins trusted them like his right-hand man. Isn't that right? It's true. Was true. But then, the Imperial family of Rollins ended up stabbing them in the back. Along with the very one I'm seeking vengeance against. The Imperial family joined forces with Hellions? Is it that surprising? I guess not. People and Hellions aren't separate entities, after all. Very true. You can even consider them two sides of the same coin. In fact, if the Cardinal's power is somehow linked to a Hellion, things start to make sense. It looks like Rose snuck out through the back. Can't take my eyes off her for a second. Hey, Dazzle! I wonder if someone ordered an assassination. Who? And was she asked to do it by herself? Either way, this is bad. here that's what we want to know where were you going oh just taking a walk thought maybe I ate too much you don't have to follow every whim that pops into your head damn it we thought you might have ditched us to go assassinate someone not yet silly that comes later it's from someone who lost their son in the war that just broke out kill the one who started the battle. The invasion was proposed to the Emperor about a year ago, in documents bearing the name of Pope Nesedra. Huh? You're gonna kill the Pope? Hold on. How do you know someone didn't just use his name? I thought he went missing after all. Maybe. But then again, maybe not. It's awfully close to the time he went missing. We'll have to investigate further. And what if we find out that he's bad? If it's evil, the Scattered Bones slay it. Even if it's the Pope? The Pope, the Emperor, even the Shepherd. Oh, was that... inappropriate? <laughs> I'm not a fan of that last part, it's true. It isn't like we walk around all stabby-stabby. We make sure what kind of person our target is first. Hmm. I think I understand you better, Rose. Do you now? Well, that's good. I'm starting to understand, too. Why she bears no malevolence, that is. Because she's as nuts as he is? Rose would certainly never tell a lie, that's for sure. She was always that way. It's in her blood.
Was the Pope the type of person who would just up and start a war? That's certainly not the impression of him we got from Sergei. He's the de facto leader of a powerful country. He's probably got more layers than you'd think.